Hi guys, if it's Tuesday, it's Down and Dirty Woodscraft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about winter. We're talking about the transition to winter. Now in several of my videos, quite a few actually, I've showed you my camping setup of my hammock, my sets, and etc. And the backpack that, or the rucksack that I carry as my camping bag. It's set up with all my gear in it and it stays set up. I have other rucksacks for carrying back and forth for projects or just scouting or whatever, but that's the camping bag. It's got all my accoutrements and all for my camping. Now, where, where I'm at here in the south, it's, oh, eight months out of the year, it's warm. So I can have a relatively small rucksack and carry what I need because I'm really trying to stay cool more than I'm trying to stay warm with my gear. But what about when we transition into the winter? That's whenever we got a problem because that pack that I've got that's been holding all of my stuff, now I'm trying to put stuff into it because in winter, I need loft, I need fluffy, I need warm. So I have like, this is the blanket that goes to my one wind hammock. And then there's a bag equal this size. And this will compress down a lot more guys, but I've got a bl another bag this size that's actually the underquilt. And then one, two of them together that's the tarp in the hammock that would make one of these. Plus, I gotta have extra socks. I've gotta have long underwear. I've gotta have a bulky dry layer. I've got to have an outer coat. You see what I'm saying? It starts adding up. The weight isn't that much more, but the bulk, that is the problem. And so now I need a bag that's going to handle the bulk because this and that gear will completely fill up my rucksack without any other gear. So it'd be just my shelter system, just my clothing. I'd have no room for everything else. So I've got to scale up. And that's when we go to the bigger bag system. So I carry a two bag system. I have the bags that I run eight months out of the year. And then I have the bags that are used in the winter. This is like a 45 or 65 liter bag. I will transfer all the components of my small bag, my usual rucksack, to this. And then I've got room for these because these or why I'm toting that big bag. I'm gonna put my standard stuff that I normally carry in the center or down low and put all this light fluffy stuff up on top because it doesn't add any weight to it, really. The total amount of weight I'm gonna add for all of my winter stuff is gonna be like six, seven pounds, most. So, you know, my total pack weight is gonna be like 30, 35 pounds in the dead of winter. In the summertime, it runs around 25 pounds. And so, that's without food. But because of that, I've got what I need, but I need the capacity to carry it. So, here's your homework, guys. You've already created, as we've talked about, make up the pack that you need. Now you need the winter pack. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy. Look around. Somebody's probably got one of these big bags they want to get rid of because a common thing you see in backpacking is they'll go get one of these big old bags and they'll carry it a couple times, they're out of shape, they don't do nothing, and then they want to dump the bag. And you can pick them up at a good price. It's actually easier to get the big bags than it is the little bags. But to me, that's a winter bag, you know. I was taught this concept by Sergeant Whitfield, who uh, was a friend of mine in Special Forces, Did a was a big mentor of mine. And he talked about the large Alice pack was the winter Alice pack. That was for putting your big, lofty sleeping bag in, etc. You didn't carry that big Alice unless it was mission necessary. It was too big. You could put too much gear in it. And so a lot of guys make the mistake of getting the big, huge bag because I might need room, afraid that they're going to need more stuff. And then they get out there on the trail and they're dying because it's so much weight and it's so much bulk on their back. What these big bags are really good for is in the winter for carrying this big, fluffy, light stuff that doesn't weigh hardly anything. This probably weighs like a pound and a half, maybe two pounds at the most. You know, it feels like I'm 
holding not quite a, uh, a two liter bottle, less than a two liter bottle. And so when I add all that stuff together in there, I'm only adding a few more pounds, but it's the bulk I'm adding. And so you've got to address that bulk. By going with a bag like this that has compression straps all the way around it, I can put my regular rucksack stuff down in here in the lower half and then fill the top of it with the fluffy stuff. And then I can cinch that down good and tight. I'm not adding much weight, but now I'm carrying it comfortably on my body, and that's a big thing. Remember, you're gonna be wearing more layers. And you gotta be able to shed layers, so I gotta have a place to hook it or tie it or put it on me. I can't just lay it down and walk off. And that's what the big bag is for. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, I'm Blackie for Shamans Forge. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.